Hi, I'm meteorologist Peter Hall. Here is your NBC3 forecast. And as we look ahead today, it's not going to be as warm as it was yesterday when we got to 84, but it's still a pleasant day. Any fog burns off this morning, and then it's a mix of sun and clouds and a high temperature of 72. That is still about 5, 6, 7 degrees above normal. Tonight, a threat for rain, which I'll show you coming up. So taking a look at what to expect, it is May 5th, so it's Cinco de Mayo, and I say buen tiempo. Weather's fine. Really, it should be pleasant today. As we look ahead at tonight, there is a southern system, which kind of infers the best chance of rain is going to be over the southern part of our viewing area. So the central and southern Finger Lakes, the central and southern tier, especially Route 20 South, will have the best chance of rain and a little thunder tonight, and I'll show you that in a minute. That'll then move away, and we're off and running for more warm weather. Any clouds and fog should give way to some sun. We should be back into the 70s tomorrow. And then aiming for 80s Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and maybe even Sunday. That is way above the normal high of 66, so it's going to feel like summer coming up here soon. Any patchy fog burned off already by noon, and then it's a mix of sun and clouds, noontime numbers, mostly in the mid 60s, like 66 in Syracuse, Fulton, upper 60s to near 70, Rome, Utica. You notice Oswego is a little cooler. Well, with an onshore breeze right along the shoreline from Sodus Point to Fairhaven and Oswego, it'll stay in the 50s today. Advancing the frames, you see, you see the clouds thickening up a little bit at 5 o'clock. I think most of us will be dry. I can't completely roll out a sprinkle around 5, 6, 7 o'clock in Oswego, Auburn, and Ithaca. But you'll notice as we go through the very end of the day and into the sunset hours that the best chance for some soaking rain, here's the Route 20 corridor right here, Geneva, Auburn, Skinny Atlas, Lafayette, Casanova, and around Morrisville and Hamilton and points south, Norwich, Cortland, Ithaca. There's your steady thick rain. But notice that there will be a few sprinkles along the Thruway 31 corridors right in through here. So maybe just a smidge of light rain on the Thruway and 31 corridors with the best chances of rain tonight will be over the central and southern tier. And then this will move away. Any rain left over tomorrow morning should exit. Now there will probably be either some fog, low clouds, or both, especially where it has rained the most. So let's watch out for some of that fog tomorrow morning. Otherwise, temperatures in the mid and upper 50s. And then clouds should give way to sun, although you notice on the future cast that the clouds are hanging toughest and longest over the southern skies. You will get the sun out just later. Highs in the mid 70s for Syracuse, cooler along the Lake Ontario shoreline, and probably in the upper 60s to near 70 over the southern tier. Wednesday night to Thursday morning, except for some valley fog, we are off and running to a mostly sunny day. Thursday's high should be near 80 degrees. The amount of sunshine we've got for you is about a 50 50 split today. 80% sunshine for Syracuse Wednesday, although less to the south, and 80% sunshine on Thursday. The chance that it rains towards the end of today and into tonight for the southern viewing area is about 75%. But for Syracuse, it's about 45%. We're right on the cusp, and then only 20% chance up north. You see ahead, the weekend, there's just a chance of a scattered shower or thunderstorm, but notice these temperatures. Remember, the normal high is about 66, 67. We are a few degrees above that today and way above that Wednesday and especially Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Feeling more like summer around here than anything else. We're probably going to get our first back to back 80 degree days since the end of September. I'm meteorologist Peter Hall. Anytime, anywhere. CNYCentral.com.